Hey, it's Matt with 731woodworks.com. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to build a simple tabletop using pocket hole joinery. These are one by sixes. You can use one by eights, one by fours, two by fours, two by eights, two by sixes, whatever you wanna use. This is a two by, or one by six is what we're gonna use. Let me show you how to build that. Hey, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button below. Click the thumbs up and share this on your social media. Virtual fist bump if you do that, we appreciate that. First thing we're gonna do is cut these to length. This is gonna be a 47 inch tabletop. You build yours however long you want it. We're gonna build this one 47 inches long, so I need to cut them that long. Now we got them cut to length, 47 inches. Now all I'm gonna do is joint the edges. If you don't have a way to joint the edges, you can just stick them together the best you can. Uh, the larger, the thicker boards, the two buys, it's gonna be harder if you're buying them from the home store because they're gonna be have some type of variation in them. So you may have a little bit of gap. The way I joint my boards is using the table saw. Let me show you how I do that. So this is how I joint my boards. I don't have a jointer, so I use my table saw with a known straight edge. In this case, I'm using a 48 inch Stanley level, I-beam level. This thing works really well. Put the straight edge against the fence and then move it with the board. If you don't move it with the board, then you might as well be using your fence. So always move it with the board. Once that side is cut, flip it over, put the cut side to the fence. So you'll have to adjust your fence in, push it through again, and saw the other edge. That gives you two flat edges, works really well. Also, if you get if you have a feather board, like this Milescraft feather board here I'm using, that helps out a lot too. It keeps the pressure pushed toward the fence. So now it's time to pocket hole screw. I'm gonna put about four, maybe five pocket hole screws per board in three of the boards, three of the four boards. I'm gonna be using the Craig K5. I highly recommend this pocket hole jig. It is very nice. So much so, this thing is a year and about three, four months old. The vise broke. I emailed Craig, they just emailed me another one. I mean, it was still working. The top piece would just pop off. I emailed them and said, hey, how do I fix this? They just said, hey, here's another one and sent it to me. So I got a brand new vise on a year old jig. That's pretty good customer service. If you don't wanna pay the $120, $130 for the Craig K5, this is what I started out with. This is a Craig R3. Works the same. You can adjust the depth here with these, and then you just clamp it on there and pocket hole. $30, pretty good deal. Hey, uh, check this out. So I got my pocket holes drilled. Now we're gonna put the pocket hole screws in. This is three quarter inch material. So three quarter inch material calls for inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. So that's what we're gonna be using, inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. If you're using inch and a half material, which is two by, you would use two and a half inch pocket hole screws. So at this point, our tabletop is together. And you can see when you joint those seams or those edges, you don't have those gaps in your seams. They fit together really, really nicely. And if you do, the little bit you see there is a little bit of, a uh, little bit you see there is just a little bit of uh, overlap. We're gonna sand that smooth and it'll be perfect. So like I said, this is four boards wide. Most of your tables, if you're building a tabletop, it's gonna be wider than that. Same principles gonna apply. So that's basically how you make a pocket hole table. If you wanna stick around, I'll show you how we finish this out and make it a nice top. We'll round over those edges, stain, finish. So now we want, I, want, I like to round over my edges, underside and top side. This is a quarter inch round over bit on a rigid cordless trim router. You just set it at the right depth where it's just gonna give you a round over. Takes that sharp edge off the top and the bottom, gives it a little more finished look. 
If you don't have a trim router, you can do this with a sander. When you're sanding, just roll it over the edge, take that sharp edge off. Good tip there for you. Hey, that's it. We got a tabletop. Simple as that. A few pocket hole screws, a few the pocket hole jig, that's all you need, some lumber. That's it. Hey, if you want to know how to finish it and stain it, I'm going to link a, a card at the end of this video. You'll see it on the left or the right. Just click on that card. That's my staining and finishing tips. That's all we're going to do with that one. Appreciate you watching.